Yeah, pretty much. Back behind us, you can start to see that the trailer is just starting to walk side to side a little bit. So this road that we were going 35 to 38 miles an hour on before, and you know, we're all feeling a little squirrely. Now we're going 55, and how do you feel? I feel like having something in the bed of the pickup. That's it. You feel it pushing us back and forth. Yeah, she's starting to walk. Doesn't feel very safe, does it? <laughs> no, yeah. you can feel it. <laughs> Let's say that tire blows a cap, or that car blows a cap in front of me, and I've got to make a swift maneuver. Notice what that trailer didn't do. Yeah. So you watch that trailer in the mirrors, or watch behind you. It's not tail whipping around. The cross baffles in the front and rear section really make a big difference in that. If we're 20 miles away at 60 miles an hour compared to 35 or 40 miles an hour, that adds up to 40 minutes in the day that we've saved just in travel time. Yeah, so, you know, then you add up the time saved in fuel. So if I'm pumping a 250-gallon tank full at 40 gallons a minute, I'm there for... Six minutes, five six and a half minutes. minutes. How does it feel when you turn it? It's a little nerve-wracking. You never know if it's going to push you. If this is sand and you had to stop suddenly, you would stop. 